Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. I'm continuing the series on filibusters, and today we're going to be talking about the Kemper Brothers. Now, some of you may say, I've never heard of the Kemper Brothers. <clears throat> well, uh, Samuel Kemper plays a role uh, later on in the Gutierrez McGee expedition, and uh, understanding his background and what was going on in his life is going to help you uh, a whole lot more. Now, the Kemper brothers, uh, there were three of them, uh, Reuben, Samuel, and Nathan. And uh, they were born in Virginia, and uh, their father was a Baptist minister who, uh, you know, was willing to, to speak the truth and take stands for things, and uh, his sons were too. And it uh, just so happened that uh, they found their way down to uh, an area known as West Florida. Now, uh, West Florida is a strange place. Uh, and I say a strange place because when we're talking about West Florida, we're talking about a strip of land that runs all the way from Florida across, you know, uh, the bottom part of Alabama, Mississippi, on into Louisiana, up into up to the Mississippi River. Now, people forget that this area was uh, under uh, British control until 1798. You know, I mean, during the Revolution, uh, while we were busy fighting the British up on uh, the East Coast in the American Revolution, uh, the Spanish were busy fighting the British down. Uh, along the Gulf Coast, you know, in places like uh, Baton Rouge, Pensacola, and so forth. But, anyways, it uh, went from British control to Spanish control, and uh, then with the Louisiana Purchase, there was a lot of debate over whether or not the Purchase included uh, West Florida. <clears throat> and uh, at least initially, uh, Spain retained uh, the Floridas, including uh, Florida proper and West Florida. Okay, that sets the stage for the problem. Uh, the thing is, with uh, Spanish areas, you're under Spanish law. And it just so happened that um, the Samuel Kemper was uh, maintaining some property belonging to a U.S. senator... Uh, by the name of John Smith. Now, uh, the problem is, under Spanish law, they didn't like absent landowners. Uh, they, uh, you know, you could settle there and uh, buy your land, uh, but they wanted you to stay there. Now, Kemper uh, maintained the property uh, down there in the Spanish territory for him. Uh, make a long story short, they got into a dispute. Uh, Kemper wanted to, I mean, Smith wanted to kick the Kempers out because he felt like they weren't running things right. Uh, the Kempers refused to leave. And uh, so a local group went ahead and uh, came to the assistance of Smith, a uh, local militia, and they attempted running the Kempers out of town, except the Kempers holed up in the house uh, with weapons and were willing to take a stand. Um, now, eventually the Kempers left, went across the river on into Mississippi where they had a tavern. Uh, and uh, after that episode, they, you know, because they felt like, you know, under Spanish law, they ought to have the, uh, the land, but some raids went back and forth between the Kempers and some of the folks uh, that lived in West Florida. Now, West Florida, it was a crazy place because you had uh, some pro-French people that were trying to set things up for Napoleon Bonaparte, you know, some real hardcore Bonapartists. You had uh, some Spanish people and you had some American colonists. And so you had these three different groups all vying for uh, control and influence of the area and uh, the Kempers tended to polarize uh, a lot of activity there. Now, uh, eventually, uh, after the Kempers had run some uh, raids against the people that they felt had done them wrong, uh, 
a group of militiamen went ahead and crossed into U.S. territory. They <clears throat> did so. Uh, they painted themselves black so that they looked like slaves. Uh, they raided the uh, store where the Kempers were. They uh, knocked, uh, I believe it was Samuel Kemper's wife, unconscious. They took him drug him through the streets uh, with a noose on and uh, they uh, started taking the Kempers as a whole back to Spanish territory. The Kempers raised such a ruckus that uh, troops at the local U.S. Uh, military outposts uh, became aware of it. The U.S. military went and rescued the Kempers uh, from the uh, people who had kidnapped them and uh, you know you're looking at the, the grounds for a big international uh, episode because you had Span you know people under the authority of Spain running into the US capturing US citizens big to do uh, <clears throat> now uh, a few years later Samuel Kemper went ahead and caught up with the main guy behind the militia group uh, beat him up real bad, cut his ears off, and then pickled his ears in a bottle of wine and had it on display to store. Uh, so, uh, and Kemper, uh, in doing all these things, he maintained business relations there in New Orleans, and one of the people that he did business with was none other than... James Wilkinson. Gee, that guy keeps popping up everywhere. You know, if you've been following the series, you know what I'm talking about. And James Wilkinson, uh, you know, had, he had his finger in this mess. Uh, at the time, he had a monopoly over the Kentucky tobacco trade when it was unloaded there in New Orleans uh, because West Florida was a strange place because they insisted that all American goods coming down the river had to pay tax and you know there was a, a lot of shenanigans going on but after the Kemper Rebellion of 1804 because there's going to be another one in 1810 in 1804 uh, some of the people in, in New Orleans uh, attempted getting the Kemper brothers to join something called the Mexican Society of New Orleans which were dedicated to uh, obtaining a free and independent Mexico and Peru. <clears throat> now some of these uh, characters are going to come into play with the formation of the Gutierrez McGee expedition. Now I mentioned Samuel Kemper mainly because Kemper is going to take over the Gutierrez McGee expedition after uh, McGee's demise, which we'll be talking about along with the mystery of McGee's demise. Uh, but you needed to know a little bit about uh, the background of the Kemper brothers uh, because they will later on become major players in the Gutierrez McGee expedition, which is going to go down uh, in 1811 1812. Now, in 1810, the Kemper brothers do return to West Florida, they finally succeed in taking. Uh, participating in the takeover of West Florida at that point. They raised up the Bonnie Blue Flag, <clears throat> which is later going to play a part in the Texas Revolution, too. But uh, you need to know some of the background there. Even though this was filibustering in the Spanish territory of West Florida, this, keep in mind some of the same characters are going to show up uh, with Texas filibustering. And I am trying roughly to follow uh, a chronological order uh, because people down there in West Florida, they were aware of the Burr episode, you know, with Aaron Burr, which we talked about yesterday in this episode, uh, a lot of politics and intrigue over in Louisiana at that time. And that's also where some of these other things start to be planned and get underway, such as the Gutierrez McGee expedition and the Long expedition, which I will talk about also, which had its roots in all that so if you have any questions concerns feel free to leave them below i'll be glad to uh, address them i uh, hope you enjoy this series and we'll talk to you later until then via con dios my friends goodbye